Folks, in the summer of 1980, candidate Ronald Reagan went to the South Bronx to campaign. Guess where? It was only two blocks from Cretona Park, where Donald Trump is scheduled to rally tonight. Reagan criticized the hapless Jimmy Carter for failing to revitalize urban areas, comparing the South Bronx to London after World War II. Donald Trump has also said many times in his campaign against Joe Biden that if elected president again, he intends to revitalize the cities through enterprise zones, lower taxes, liberating small minority-owned businesses from the Biden burdens of regulatory red tape, a new era of law and order, including closing the catastrophic border, illegal immigration problem, and backing school choice. Now, Reagan, back in that summer of 1980, blasted Carter for hyperinflation and promised to deregulate oil and slash tax rates. He did. And oil prices crashed. And the economy soared. Trump will be blasting Biden tonight over high inflation and has promised to restore Drill Baby Drill in order to bring down high energy prices and conquer inflation. Both Reagan and Trump pledged to make America strong again at home and abroad. Mr. Reagan carried New York by three percentage points in his 44-state landslide in 1980. And in 1984, he carried New York by nine points in his 49-state Uber landslide. Now, I have no idea if Mr. Trump can carry New York, but I do know he's only down nine points in a recent poll compared to a 23-point loss back in 2020. I also know that Mr. Trump's rally in the South Bronx tonight is sending a message nationwide. It's a shot across the country that his working men's coalition, based on the economy, crime, and immigration, is going to be making huge inroads into the Biden Democrats' old-time minority coalition, just like Reagan did. All right. That's the riff tonight for